If you've had your textbook, maybe you've already had a chance to look at chapter one, but if you haven't, it's not a big deal. But really, chapter one talks a lot about this idea of kind of, again, like, where are we when it comes to studying leadership? And it really tackles kind of one of the biggest issues, I think, that a lot of people have with studying leadership, and it's that everybody has a different definition of it, right? I can read one book, and somebody defines it one way. I can read another self-help book, and they define leadership in a totally different way. Um, it seems to be something that there's just a lot of opinions about. And so in this class, how in the world do we know what definition of leadership to use? Um, what do we use going forward after this class? And so we're going to really take some time to unpack that and discuss these leadership leadership definitions. So everybody should have one of these yellow sheets. And the first thing we're going to do is going to be an individual activity. And so I want y'all to read, there's six definitions of leadership on here, on this front page. I don't want you to look at the back page yet, just look at the front page. And I want you to read those six definitions. And as you're reading them, I want you to decide what you like and dislike about those particular definitions. So if there's a certain word in the definition that you really like, circle it or underline it. If there's a word that you're like, this is fine and good until they said this, put an X on it. There's also a little bit of room there, so if you want to make some notes for yourself, you know, what is it that you like or dislike about that definition? Once you've done that for all six, I then want you to rank order them, one through six. One being your favorite definition and six being your least favorite. What questions are there? Okay, if not, this should maybe take you five minutes. All right, so don't think too heavy on it. Kind of go with your gut reaction. But uh, decide what you like and dislike about each definition and then rank order them one through six. One being your favorite, six being your least favorite. Well, with quiet classroom, we all were that way. about one more minute. 
finish up your notes and your ranking. I can't decide if I like your hair shorter or longer. I kind of missed the ponytail. I do. That's why it's in an in-between stage. Yeah. It's growing it back out. Come on, jump in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I saw you in the spring and you kind of like, who are you? I didn't have to check myself either. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, everybody done? Okay. What I'd like for you to do now is I want to put you all into groups of five, and you can kind of pod yourself up. Feel free to move the chairs around. I know it's a little awkward in this room, but hey, at least they're not stuck together or bolted to the ground. So kind of get into groups of five. And in that group of five, what I would like for you all to do is um, kind of share with each other how you ranked them. And as a group, you all are going to come up with your top two definitions and your bottom two definitions. So you flip onto that back page, you're going to see a space, and everybody needs to write this in. You're going to write in what your group's top two definitions are and what your bottom two definitions are and explain why you all decided that. So what was the discussion like? How did you all come to a compromise on that? And then um, once we get, once kind of the groups, um, everybody's finished, we'll go to step three after that. So, all right, kind of group up, five. <laughs> that group back there. How many people do you want each group? Five. Yeah. We have 25 people, so it should work out. Uh, yeah, Peyton, they need somebody else over here in this group. And we have a lot of people in this group. So if we can get one more, one person to pop over with this group right here. Thanks, I'm at the first one that I got for What are we all different sided on so far? We're pretty easy, yeah. We're kind of thinking the same. Awesome. So what did y'all put at the bottom? Like what's your first spot? The one about leadership is a process for which an agent uses a subordinate to behave in a desired manner. What didn't y'all like about that? I just think as a leader, like, you never want to just tell someone to do because nobody likes to be told what to do. You can suggest things, but in the end, you can't make them do anything they don't want to do. It kind of sounds like they're just like telling them, like, this is how you got to act, and this is how you got to do it. That word subordinate is so cool. And then, like, we're working with people, y'all, like, my subordinate. <laughs> So it's 
Do you think that, that there'd ever be a time that people would consider like four and five to be good definitions of literature? I think it just like depends on like the environment they're in. Like in the army or something, I could see that being a good a leadership definition mm -hmm. or something like that. Yeah. Because of the way people. Kind of like where you're saying that group over there, that word subordinate just seems cold, yeah. doesn't it? Like, the struggle. The struggle. The struggle. The struggle. I said that was really like negative. That. I was like, I don't know. Huh. Uh, that's an interesting perspective of that. Yeah. I don't think struggling is an art. The hmm. art of mobilizing others to want to struggle. Mm -hmm. We don't have to struggle. We don't have to struggle, though. That's like on the Bachelor finale when they're like, we just, like at the end of the year, they were like, it's, I want them to challenge me. It just wasn't challenging. I'm like, why do you need your relationship to have to be challenging? Why do you want a hard relationship? Yeah. Well, I don't understand. Drama. 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 <laughs> How are y'all over here? Got your top two, bottom two? Mm -hmm. I think most groups have kind of identified, so take maybe like two minutes to kind of finish writing up your ideas and your explanations for why your group made the choices that y'all made. Okay. Two minutes. Everybody kind of finished in your groups. So what I'd like to do is we'll go kind of group by group. And the first thing that I want you to do is tell me which definition you ranked kind of number one and number two, and then which one, and kind of give me an explanation why. So we're going to focus on that first. So those that your group ranked number one, number two, and why. And let's start with... Start with y'all in the back. Um, the one that we want to do on number one is the sixth definition. Um, the leadership and the engagement of others. Um, the part that I really like to uh, my main chunk of words that I really like to transform each other is I think when people become leaders, they don't often want to listen to their followers. And when you listen to your followers, 
you each change each other and how you think and what you think you have to be great for you forward and doing things. I like that. So y'all liked that idea of transforming each other. Very cool. Thank y'all very much for sharing that. Which one did you choose as your number one? Ours was the same one. Same one. Okay. Yeah. Why? What about that definition did y'all like the most? I think it was kind of on the same lines. We liked that it was mutually exclusive and um, it was they were transforming each other and trying to be better and uh, all along the same thought process. Yeah, I like that. So that idea of mutuality. Um, I think it's cool. I think sometimes there is this idea that leaders get just as much from the people that are following them as the followers may get from the leader. I think that's really important. Big group up here in the front. We had number six as well. And you commented on the uh, raising, raising, the raising the level. Raising the level. Um, but we like that because it sounds like it's evolving, like it's continuously pursuing growth. Ooh, I like that idea, evolving and growth. So it kind of ties into this idea of change and that leadership's always changing and our perspectives on it. And so as we work with each other, as we look at that mutuality, we've got to realize that it's kind of a growth process and process oriented. That'll come up later, so that's a good one. Yeah. We also chose the last one. All right. Yeah. I like what you said about improvement. Um, to me, improvement is just so motivating because I don't know about y'all, but I don't do things right all the time. So I like to at least feel like I have the chance to have a do-over to try again. And so just knowing that maybe there's an ounce of or allowing for improvement is kind of encouraging to me. What did y'all have? We also have the last one. Okay, so also the last one. And <coughs> why? For me personally, I'm pretty much all agree. But my favorite part is the mutually beneficial uh, because the followers, I guess, they're not doing things for the leaders, they're doing things for the group as a whole. Yeah. I kind of like the influential word too that's involved mm -hmm. because. I like that. So kind of crazy. Y'all are the first class that I've had with this that y'all have chosen all the same top definitions. So I think that's kind of cool and a neat place for us to start out with. And so what I've kind of picked up on that is that as a class, you like these leadership definitions that have to do with kind of mutual respect realizing that everyone's on an even playing field, that just because someone's a leader doesn't make them on a pedestal necessarily. Do y'all think, why do you think that may be kind of a consensus in this class? <coughs> all about the same age. All about the same age? I think it's to do with the parents. Like, that generation had it with that's the way they kind of were, like the leader was the one up, and everyone else come below, but I think we all like being everyone on the same page. It's kind of the thing that's Hierarchy doesn't really always work. Yeah. We'll talk about that some in this class. Would y'all say that during your generation, you've seen a lot of people considered leaders that then are kind of disappointing? Yeah. I think it happens like every other day, right? There's something in the news. So do you think that kind of affects our perception on wanting to seek an even level playing field? Absolutely. So there's kind of just some nuggets to think about in the back of your mind. I like this idea, too, of growth, improvement, constantly involving, again, just that encouragement that you might not get it right the first time, but there's a chance to try and do it again, and we're all learning from each other. And so with that, it's an opportunity for us to influence each other, not just expect one person, or that it's one person's responsibility to be influential. It's all of ours. Would you all say that? So now, let's go back to the groups, and I want you all to tell me now, what was your least favorite definition? So as a group, what was the bottom one for everybody? And we'll kind of go in backwards order, so we'll start with y'all's group. Uh, our least favorite one was the second to last one, so I guess five. Okay. Um, my reason for it, it came up really, like, controlling, in a way. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. It used to, like, work in a particular manner. Um, I think it's very controlling, and not really, like, as you can be controlling. 
Okay, so just sound is controlling and leader should be controlling. All right, I can go with that. Same one. Same one? Okay, why? And um, this is very, I don't know, I guess vague in the sense, like, like in the kind of like the wording. Kind of like dictatorship. Dictatorship, I like that. Why do you say that? It's a leader telling you to follow what you do. They're saying this is a desired way to act, so act. Do what I say, or I shall kick you out of my house. Negative. Not calling your parents a dictator. Take but on yeah. it. I don't know. Mm-hmm. It's cold. Yeah. Subordinate is not a nice word. Subordinate is not a nice word. Are y'all subordinate? My glass you are. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. All right, what do y'all have? We had the same one as well, and we thought that it was, like, if the person was saying that, they were trying to assert their dominance. Oh. So I made the point of I'm the top dog, and it was aggressive, too. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. Desire. Yeah. Was it the They're too aggressive and aggressive. Yes. Yes. Okay. I think I'm a good smeller on most days. All right. What do y'all have? We also have a good one. Oh, man. Yes. Okay. Why? It seems so when I was aggressive, it like I came from a military background. And it really reminded me of the drill instructions that my dad worked with. Mm-hmm. Um, and like when I told them, he was like, well, most people don't follow drill instructions. They rebel against them. So. Yeah. So I may seem really nice, but I'm so totally that person. The moment that I feel like I am being made to do something, I'm going to do the total opposite. And it used to drive my parents crazy because I was, I was a good kid. And it may be something simple as like, and the dishwasher right now, and I thought, nope, <laughs> walk away. You know, like it just people don't react well to that. That's a really good point. Yeah. Ours is also the same one. Ah, okay. Um, kind of like what they said about controlling themselves, but the where it says subordinates say, hey, when it's fired me, or I felt like that's kind of just devaluing the person. Because these are other human beings that are working with, so everyone's opinion matters whether we agree with it. It's just their opinion and they don't matter. Yeah, it's almost, it, it sounds like almost the total opposite of the one that y'all liked the most, right? Um, because the first one was about this reciprocal. We got a cricket. Hmm, okay. That's fine. Welcome to class, Jimmy. So. <laughs> I hope y'all all seen Pinocchio. Um, but the first definition seems very reciprocal, right, in the relationship. And this one seems a little bit more top-down. Okay? So definitely some differences there. Now, there were four other definitions on here that we haven't talked about yet. And so let's just kind of, and we can kind of popcorn here, spit, uh, speak out when you want to. This first definition, what were some things you liked or disliked about it? Leadership is an influence relationship among leaders and followers who intend real changes that reflect their mutual purposes. The mutual again, like both sides. Mutual. Probably like the last one. Yeah. Anything you didn't like about it? I didn't like the intent. Intent. Why? Why? What kind of weirded you out about it? Because I mean, you can intend to do something, but end up doing completely something else and being reckless. Like you can intend something good, but then it can turn into a wildfire. Yeah. You know? I kind of don't like that word either because I'm like, intentions are great, but actions are better. Yeah. You know, like, fine and good, let's talk all day long about the change you want to make, but you might actually want to get out of your house first. That, that's just my opinion, right? So I'm kind of with you on that. Really, can you get her? Come back on. Okay, good. So, no projectors, don't do this to me today. Okay, second one. Leadership is directing and coordinating the work of group members. What do you like about this one? I don't like the word directing. Don't like the word directing. Why? Um, for me, it feels more like a boss than a leader. Like, a boss, okay. I feel like leaders should be getting down there, getting their hands dirty with the people that they work with. Like, they should be the ones directing and coordinating. Yeah. Liked the word directing. You liked it, okay? It's Why? Because. That's the exact opposite of when I think of directing and coordinating. I do, when I think of actually being in there and directing and coordinating, I think of being in there and getting dirty and showing what needs to be done and, you know, being one with the team. I liked it until it says the work of the 
didn't like work. I actually crossed that one out. Okay. So what what didn't you like about the work? Oh, yeah. The directing and coordinating should be fine if it wasn't just the work of the group members. Like it's not mutual enough. Like it's just oh yeah, you do it and I'm gonna watch you do it. So this definition is going to kind of bring up a um, couple things that we're going to study this semester. First one, and we're going to hit on this on Thursday, is this idea of leadership versus management. And we, we hit on it piece by piece in our leadership courses, but it's in this class that we really try to say, no, what does theory say the difference is? So that now when you tell people, well, I'm a leader, well, you're applying for a management position. Well, no, here's what a leader does different that a manager does. So this kind of goes into that conversation. The other piece that it goes into is this idea of being <coughs> task oriented versus relationship oriented. What do y'all think the orientation of this definition is kind of alluding to? It's more task. -oriented. It's more task. And so, yeah, it kind of sounds like it leaves out that idea of mutual influence, right, of the relationship piece. And so there has been a ton of research done on should a leader be more task oriented? Should they be more relationship oriented? Which is most effective? Um, and that's really going to underlie a lot of what we do this semester. All right, the third one leadership is the process of influencing the activities of an organized group in its effort towards goal setting and goal achievement. Would you like to not like? Why? Like, you're just goal setting and like looking at how to achieve those goals and how it's not to be. Like that effort there's no action. No action, so just missing the action. I like that. What else? <coughs> In? Well, I kind of really like how it says influencing because it's instead of like forcing them to group through it, it's like coaxing and kind of like giving them some insight and helping them make their decision. Yeah. So we're kind of seeing that shift, right? That's good. And then the last one, leadership is the art of mobilizing others to want to struggle for shared aspirations. Struggle. I don't like that. Like the, how many of you like the word struggle? I'm the only one. How many of you didn't like the word struggle? Okay, what didn't y'all like about the word struggle? I want to hear this. I think it should be more like mobilizing people to like want to work for their aspirations, but not struggle. Because struggle sounds like you're not getting anywhere. You're just falling down rather than... You're stuck in the same spot. You know, you're struggling. You're yeah. stuck exactly struggling. Nobody you don't always have to struggle. You don't always have to struggle. I would agree with that. I would say for me, I like the word struggle because I think there's a little bit of reality to it. I think if we think we're not going to struggle, man, when, you, like, when it happens, how are you going to bounce struggle. back? Like, I like, didn't want yeah. to struggle. Like, mo it's art. Of mm -hmm. mobilizing others to want to yeah. struggle, like I feel like that's kind of insanity. Okay. Tell someone. Like, Maybe the art. Uh -huh. It's an art to want to struggle. So, that's if you could it. replace the word struggle then with a different word, what do you think would have been better? I don't. I wouldn't even want to replace the word struggle if it said the art of mobilizing others to get through their struggles to reach their aspirations. So maybe some resiliency. That would be better. Just yeah. Like, it's like she was saying. It's no one wants to. You mm -hmm. just have to get through it. Yeah. I think, you know, and I don't know what the better word would be here, but I think <coughs> what this definition was trying to get at is that, okay, if you already know what your shared aspirations are, then when times do get tough, they want you to be able to fight through that tough time, to have that resiliency, to not just say, okay, this isn't working, we need to walk. They, they want you to have that little oomph. So maybe struggle isn't the best word, and so if y'all can come up with a better word, bring it. Like, but... Um, what did y'all think about the word art? Anybody that was kind of like, yeah, not my thing. Anyone not like the word art? What did you like about that? And you're a photographer. You're creative. I just don't feel like wanting to struggle is an art. Okay. I don't know. What does art mean to you? Not that. <laughs> art means like work. Like you have to like work for something and you see it in the future or you know like being like a photographer like I see what I want to do but like no one wants to see the struggle. No one yeah. wants to see like mm -hmm. yeah. No one looks forward to it. Yeah. Art is kind of you know, I think of if you there's an art to every profession, right? So it doesn't necessarily mean creative or any of that stuff, but it's just knowing kind of the ins and outs of your profession and 
it's kind of those unwritten rules, right? Understanding those and how things work. And so leadership as an art, I could get with that. But then I could see where it seems like there's a huge disconnect between it and struggle. So kind of cool to hear how y'all dissected these leadership definitions. And something to know, all six of these are from different textbooks. These are like legit scholarly definitions of leadership. So do y'all see here how like from the get-go we're kind of already starting out with like what is leadership? Whatever you want it to be. No. <laughs> you know, but it, it can seem that way. Um, one thing to know, and I kind of say it again, like I said at the beginning of class, is that I'm going to present to y'all some information about leadership. But it's really, this is all stuff that you can take. You can dissect yourself and decide, yeah, I agree with it. No, I don't. Um, or what I really hope it does is that it helps change what you think leadership is for you to be able to develop what your own personal definition of leadership is. And so that's step three. I want you all to kind of stay in your groups right now, but this is kind of going back to an individual activity. Now that we've looked at other people's definitions, we've compared and contrasted them a little bit, I want you to write your definition of leadership. One sentence, two sentences. It doesn't need to be anything extreme, and I'm not putting it in a textbook, so you don't have to worry about it being the most scholarly written sentence of your life. But thinking back on how you reacted to those other definitions of leadership, what would you say your definition of leadership is? Take two minutes. Two minutes just to write that out, real short and sweet. know about y'all but that cricket like it makes my brain think that it should be nighttime which means I should be going to sleep now <laughs> it's kind of throwing me off all right everybody got their definition everybody got it okay if you are still writing it finish writing it but what we're going to do now is we're going to go around the room and you are going to stand up you're going to introduce yourself yes you're going to tell us a little something about you because we're going to be in class together this whole semester. And some of y'all I have had in class before. Some of you I haven't. And um, I have found that the sooner we can get to know each other, the more robust our discussions are going to be. Um, we can develop a level of trust with each other as a class to kind of, because some of these things are going to be hard. We might bring up some kind of hot topic items that are going to be a little tough to talk about. And so let's just get out on the table where we're all coming from um, right at the beginning. So. Yes. name, hometown, fun fact, or classification, or something else. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna kind of go with the. I'm gonna try to not be so directive to my subordinates today. <laughs> Definitely name, because yes, I'm checking you off the roster as well to make sure who's here today. But name, 
whatever you want to tell us. Usually it's kind of cool to know where we're all from. Um, anything else you want to tell us about? But then the only thing I would like for y'all to share for sure is what was your definition of leadership that you just wrote down? Okay. And Markel, since you're awesome, I'm going to let you start. Cool. Well, hello, guys. Stand up so we see ya. Hello, my name is Markel Harris. I'm the six. I'm the six. I'm the six. I'm the six. And my oh, it's a cool thing about me. Um, I guess both of me in the class of 2020 this summer. Good to see you. Um, uh, my definition is the ability to be able to motivate and influence others and be beneficial to all parties involved. That's my definition. Say that again because you talk so fast. <laughs> You want the whole thing? No. <laughs> Your definition. Leadership is the ability to be able to motivate and influence others that is mutually beneficial to all parties involved. I like it. Cool. My name is Kiwi Hamburg. I'm originally from Cameron, Oklahoma. Um, I'm an agricultural education major and leadership minor. Um, I've been out of the country seven times. Whole thing. My definition. Um, we did it together on accident, so we all have the same mind. <laughs> one. Uh, influencing others to make a change in themselves as well as others. Ooh, I like that. Change in themselves as well as others. Okay. Um, my name is Jenna. I'm from Brooklyn, Nebraska. I moved here a year ago. And my definition is a leader is one who knows the way and helps their followers to achieve their goals. Ooh, I like that. Knows the way. Cool. Is your last name Taylor? Yeah. Okay. okay. My name's Carly Travis. I am from the only Oblong, Illinois. So at least the only Oblong in all of the lands. Um, I am a senior studying ag leadership. And then my definition is leadership is the influential relationship of individuals to transform each other in ways that reflect a mutual purpose. Okay. Uh, my name is Tracy Hammock. I'm from Lee, Oklahoma. Uh, I'm an ag school major with a minor of le ag leadership. And my def oh, my fun fact: my family has 20 dogs. Okay. Uh, Do y'all breed them? No, unless I want to be, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> we don't watch them carefully. We, yeah. <laughs> they're hunting dogs. Um, leadership is an influence relationship to transform each other from. A for real changes, um, raising the level of aspiration and morality for purposes which are mu mutually beneficial. I like it. Um, I'm Samantha Williams. I'm from Solar. I'm a local. I'm an ag leadership major and I studied abroad this summer. And my definition is leadership is inspiring others to not only better themselves, but to work to achieve a common shared aspiration or goal. I like it. Where'd you study abroad? Ireland. Cool. Oh, yeah. I am Dusty Pardue, and I'm from Coleta, Oklahoma, <coughs> so that's kind of my area. And my definition is leadership is a mutual relationship between leaders and followers where both parties can help each other reach their goals. This is Jonathan. I'm Jonathan Garnan. You can just call me John or Johnny Boy or whatever else you please. I was called Jordan, so I the guy one time. Um, I'm from Bethel, Oklahoma. Um, fun fact, I like to credit myself with the fact that there is a Segway writing course at the Oklahoma Science Museum. That's, uh, that's disputed though. Um, and my definition was a leadership is being the driver of a team, but also a full-blown teammate, so a leader and a follower all together, because um, someone once told me that you can't be a good leader and you can't dictate something to someone else unless you are willing to get your hands in there and get dirty and do it yourself. My name is Lexi. I'm from Sugarland, Texas. Uh, my fun fact is I ride horses, I barrel race. Um, my definition is leadership is the process of influencing the engagement of others to transform each other's aspirations for a mutual purpose. I'm Adriana. I'm from San Jose, California. Um, I guess my fun fact is I helped put on like, a concert series this summer. I actually helped run it. We had like 12 acts. Toby Keith was there. It was pretty cool. Um, my was leadership is the ability to influence the lives of others while striving towards the achievement of mutual goals. Hi. Okay. Cool. 
Hi, I'm Lee Levetchen. I am from Guthrie, Oklahoma. Um, leadership is a process of bringing others together and helping work toward the shared goal. Okay. Um, I was really hoping you were going to say you're from Jamaica. Focus on your show. My name is Austin Jackson. I'm from Grove, Oklahoma. I'm a transfer junior from Northeastern Oklahoma and in college in Miami, Oklahoma. And mine was influence and inspire others to reach goals and transform ideas by working together on the same level as leaders and followers. My husband's from Miami. For real. I know where Grove is. My name's Devin Foster. I'm from Bartlett, Kansas. Um, and I have his active. Fun, but I've grown up on a family farm all my life, so um, my definition was leadership is direct work of leaders and followers working together to achieve the same goals and aspirations. I like it. I'm Corey Myers. <coughs> um, originally from Worcester, Ohio, which is kind of around Cleveland. Uh, fun fact about me is uh, I've lived in Oklahoma two years and lived in three different cities, one in eastern Oklahoma, one in the Panhandle, and now Stillwater. Mm -hmm. um, so my definition was engaging others and helping them and or yourself to achieve a common goal or purpose for the benefit of more than yourself. I like it. So if anybody needs help moving, we've got a pro right here. <laughs> I'm Jenny Lynn. I'm from, also from Ohio. Um, my fun fact is that this is my first class in over a year, and I got back from the bars last night and made it back. Read my email, made it here at 9 a.m. Yeah. And my um, definition is short and simple, but I also am really into like youth leaders. Like I do coordination with youth, and leadership is an influencing relationship, working towards a mutually beneficial goal. So just short, sweet. I like. It. I'm Lydia Dance. I'm also from Ohio. <laughs> True. Um, I'm an ag leadership major. My fun fact is I've shown cattle since I was four. Um, my definition of leadership is that leadership is the process of setting goals and helping a group of people with mutual interests and goals achieve them. My name is Suzanne Jake Williams. You can call me Susie. The only name I don't like is that variation of my name is Susan. I won't respond to it. Uh, I'm from Washington, D.C. I uh, came here because I hate Washington, D.C. and I'm in this small town feel. But uh, my definition is leadership is guiding those who need to find their direction while completing mutually beneficial goals. Awesome. Welcome to small town, so My name is uh, Dominique. I'm from Oklahoma City. And my definition is being able to influence others to achieve their goals. Uh, my name is Nick Watson. I'm from Ponca City, Oklahoma. Uh, my definition is the art of transforming yourself and others to mutually set and achieve goals. Hey everyone, I'm Catherine Buster. I'm from Textline, Texas. Um, I'm an agricultural leadership major. I spent the summer in Washington, D.C. I'm glad to be back in Stillwater as well. It's a great experience though. And my definition is dedicating your time to serve a group for the sole purpose of inspiring hearts and enacting change. Oh, that one makes me feel all tingly inside. <laughs> I like it. Okay, let's do that. My name's Caleb Sturridge. I'm from Oklahoma. And um, fun fact is, I hate big cities. Um, Y'all will get along. <laughs> Uh, my definition is someone that inspires and helps themselves and others grow in a positive way. Um, I'm Kyla Turner from Alt Reno, Oklahoma, and my definition is becoming a leader uh, means that you have to have like subordinate growth and like how others like perceive you as like a good leader. I like it. And a fun fact: I have not broken a bone till this summer. I twisted my knee. Oh, but you're good now. Yeah, because I fell down for years. Oh, okay. Nobody walk in front of her in case she falls again. Hey, it's Lincoln. Nice to meet you, Nelly. Um, I'm from Gene Autry, Oklahoma. That's a small town. It's got not a few people in it. Um, my definition of leadership is 
someone stepping up to make a stand to lead or show their followers in the right direction. Ooh, I like that. Stepping up to make a stand. Um, my name's Kylie Price. I'm a sophomore and I spent my summer in Virginia, but I'm from Wetumpka, Oklahoma. And my uh, definition is leadership is wanting a common goal in a group and everyone helping each other achieve that goal. My name is Christina. I'm from Comanche, Oklahoma. I'm a senior in Ag Ed with a minor in Ag Lee. Um, my fun fact is, including college, I've been to 15 different schools, lived in six different states, 11 different homes, and eight different towns. Was the point. fact that you even remember it. <laughs> my mom and I counted recently. Um, and my definition is leadership is the engagement of all team members to work towards a shared goal or achievement. I like it. Kind of cool to hear all of y'all's definitions of leadership. I hear a lot of similarities, and I think it's going to need, I want y'all to hang on to this sheet of paper because there may be times throughout the semester that as we are studying different theories, I'm going to say, I want you to look back. I want you to look back at that first definition of leadership that you wrote, and let's see if we can revise it a little bit. Now, before we break for today, I do want to give some time to introduce this person who's been sitting here in the corner. So, Cami Grace, if you'll let them know a little bit about you. Good morning. My name is Cami Grace Weaver. I, I recognize some of y'all because I was famous I in one of the large classes in the spring. Um, I moved to Stillwater two weeks ago from Auburn, Alabama, where I graduated with my Bachelor's of Science in Agricultural Communications and Stewardship based at. Um, Lauren was my leader slash boss. Um, when she was there, I worked for her in the student services office for Auburn's College of Ag. Um, I am a grad student um, under Bill and Penny. Um, so yeah, I'll be around in class and then I share an office with Lauren. So if she's not around, you're still with me. Yes, Cami Grace can help y'all with anything that y'all need as well. And any of y'all that are taking 2403 online, she's helping out with that this semester too. So. Um, feel free uh, to consider her a resource and also get to know her. She's awesome. So uh, could be a really cool mentor for y'all. Um, for those of you that haven't had me in class, I do want to let y'all know a little bit about me personally. Um, my background, I grew up in Florida. Um, so this picture of the orange grove, um, that was literally in my backyard. I'm not lying. So I had an orange grove in the front of my house, orange grove in the back of my house, and then cattle. So even though I grew up an hour from Disney and an hour and a half from any beach either way, I grew up in rural Florida. So it's not what a lot of people think of when they think of Florida. But um, ag was always a part of my family. My mom's from Alabama. My dad's from Mississippi. Um, ag was just what we did. We had a produce trucking company in central Florida. And so FFA 4-H, all that was a huge part of me growing up and I would like to say when it came to my leadership development it was because of my involvement in those organizations that I feel like I'm where I'm at today and so also through that um, service has always been a huge part of what I do whether that's serving through education or actually going out and being in my community. Um, I've kind of moved around all the places so I did do my undergrad at Auburn um, I was that typical freshman that started out animal science pre-vet and then I took organic chemistry and here I am now, teaching <laughs> ag leadership. Now, um, my family, again, kind of with our ag business, that was something that always kind of clicked with me and so I took an ag law class my sophomore year and said, no, this is really more my jam and changed my major. Um, there was an ag leadership studies minor um, at Auburn, so that's kind of where I really got into like, wow, this is something that we can teach and work with students about and my advisor convinced me to go to grad school. I really just thought that I wanted to go work in DC or do something along those lines and he said no you need to be a teacher. So I went to Texas A&M for my grad um, master's degree, was teacher certified, planned to go back and be a middle school ag teacher in Florida and then I ended up taking a job at a small private Christian university um, as their director of ag studies. So um, that's kind of how I started in college teaching. It was not my plan, but the Lord's, and definitely um, the path that I think he has put me on um, to serve. And so um, after working at Warner for a couple years, teaching classes, supervising interns, developing curriculum, I went to go work at Auburn. And that's where I met Cami Grace as well. Um, worked out of the dean's office as an undergraduate program coordinator. And then um, some people put bugs in my ear about going back to school, and here I am. So in my second year of the PhD program in ag education. So hopefully I'll get to add a third picture to this one day. And then my family, 
I started off with my baby girl because she's been around the longest. It's Dakota. She's a Springer Spaniel. Um, she's 10 and she's awesome. My husband, Chad, he's from Miami, Oklahoma. Um, my mother-in-law is from Fairland. And then we have family that lives in Grove, too. So northeast corner of the state. We met in grad school at Texas A&M, got married in 2014. Um, and then there is our heathen, <laughs> Wilkinson. <laughs> Just soak that in. And then imagine cleaning that up afterwards. It was really fun, actually. Um, we were getting our fall garden ready in the backyard, and he thought it was mud truck time, so it was awesome. He's naked, so I had to cut that part of it off. Um, so anyways, yeah, he's two and a half. He'll be three in December. Um, I like to share funny stories about him, so if you don't like kids, get a heart. <laughs> 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 and then finally, just some things about me. Like I mentioned, uh, my faith is really important to me. Um, I feel like that kind of encompasses everything I do and is the purpose behind everything I do. Um, football season, I'm a, I'm a Pokes fan now. Like, I, I can do it. <laughs> I really like Auburn football. It's not um, <laughs> no, it's just I like Auburn. Like I'm a fourth generation Auburn fan. Like it gets intense. Iron Bowl, we just aren't going to talk. Um, and do not make jokes to me about Nick Saban. I don't think it's funny. Um, Florida's natural. I, if I see you drinking orange juice, I'm going to berate you. Support U.S. farmers, and Florida's natural is the only orange juice that is 100% grown in the United States and processed in the United States. We can talk about the politics behind Tropicana and all that later, but by Florida's Natural, it's worth the extra dollars. Um, I play the harp, my random facts. I do like a lot of music. I love classic rock. We'll probably play that a lot in here. Um, I like to ex I should really just take that picture off because I don't think that's true anymore. Exercise. <laughs> I do it because I have to. And I love the beach. So with that, a little bit about me. Here's your task. We didn't really get to talk about chapter one much today. We're going to start off on Thursday with what our textbook says definition of leadership is. So make sure you look at chapter one. Find out what does Peter Norhouse say the definition of leadership is that we're going to use in this class. So we're going to kind of start with that and dive in hopefully a little bit into chapter two on Thursday. So if you had a friend that's supposed to be in this class and they weren't here today, break them, call them out. Tell them to look at the syllabus online and be here Thursday. Thank you.